What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Samurai Radio Sports Network and today we're going to be talking about Devontae Parker and why I think that he's going to be a breakout star this year. Now of course we're going to have people that are going to comment down below that Devontae Parker is not going to do anything. The Dolphins suck this, this and that and why did I do a Donald Trump voice there? I have, I'm sorry for that. But we're going to be talking about Devontae Parker and why I feel like Devontae Parker will have a breakout year this season. Now I think that Jay Cutler is the perfect recipe of like chicken noodle soup. I like chicken noodle soup. That's why I put that out there that you could give to a wide receiver like Devonte Parker. Obviously Jay Cutler had Brandon Marshall and Brandon Marshall's career was pretty good because of it. Uh, when he did have Cutler and honestly, Devonte Parker, I feel like can take that role and take his game up another notch, another level. Um, last year, just to go through the stats, because I have them pulled up already. Last year, Devontae Parker had 56 receptions on 90 targets, 744 yards, 13.3 average with four touchdowns. And his longest was a 56 yarder, uh, 920 plus uh, yarders, which was one less than Kenny Stills and seven less than Jarvis Landry, who had 16 with 49.6 yards per game and 229 yards after catch. So, you know. Pretty cool and had 34 receiving first downs. I didn't even know that, that was a stat. Awesome. Um, but <laughs> just in general, you know, um, pretty pretty good. It was better than his rookie year. Um, and I want to see him excel from that. I like to see those touchdowns get up to about six or seven this year. Uh, I think he can do it with Jay Cutler. Uh, Jay Cutler is going to love throwing bombs to him. We've already seen it in practice. Uh, and I'm super excited to see what happens tonight with that Miami Dolphins game. Uh, the preseason game. I'm so excited to see uh, Devontae Parker catch some balls from Jay Cutler. I just hope we see a deep bomb just right to Devontae Parker, man. Oh, my God. That would just make my night tonight. And I'm, I'm sure after the after uh, the game, I'll have my comments. So, I hope you guys are watching the game tonight. But I think you can do it. Devontae Parker is a big receiver. We've seen his ability when he came out of college that he has what it takes when he came out of Louisville. Uh, that's why the Dolphins drafted him. He's had Ryan Tannehill, who a lot of people say can't throw the deep ball, but realistically, his deep ball throwing stats have gotten better every single year, uh, and he's been working on it. So, you know, you got to give that to Tannehill. Um, but, you know, I think he's just prepped and ready to have a big year. I think that he's been behind Jarvis Landry and Kenny Stills a lot. Uh, mostly, he's just been behind Jarvis Landry. Kenny Stills had a pretty good year. Uh, in his first year as a Dolphin and had a great year last year in his second year as a Dolphin uh, and Devontae Parker was really had some injury history uh, in that first year uh, in his rookie year so not really much that you can really tie into that but he got better last year and I just expect him to blow up in his third year uh, Dale Jeremiah and Bucky Brooks lucky I don't know I don't, I'm, honestly I don't know he, they made comments on it. They were, you know, giving their breakout players for the season. And they mentioned Devontae Parker. And like I said, I have to agree. I think he's the Dolphins breakout player of the year. Uh, look out tomorrow on Friday. I will have my Dolphins video for the season record and stats prediction. I did one last year. And of course, the stats are always blown out of proportion. It's just an optimist, optimistic Dolphins fan. Who wants to be funny at sometimes and also wants to you know see his team do good so give it for what it is when you guys see it tomorrow uh as well as the uh what's it called the first episode of the tigers dynasty was supposed to go up on tuesday the 15th i have moved that now to saturday uh which is i believe the 19th so yeah this will be moved to saturday uh i just don't really have the time to edit it so, because of that, it will be moved to Saturday the 19th. I'm going to try to get it up at 1 o'clock. I'm going to try to edit it uh, either tonight or Friday night. Probably not tonight since I'm going to be watching the game. But, hope you guys did very much enjoy this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And, as always, peace!